Hello, okay. Now we're going to create an um, account group. Let me explain what is an account group is all about. See this our balance sheet. I have put in the classification. Okay. For each type of accounts here. Building and machinery should be under fixed assets, cash in bank, cash in hand, stock street debtors that is are under current assets, long term liabilities, capital and bank loans, current liability will be trade creditors, retained earnings. Alright, so these things which are highlighted in bold current liability, long term liability, fixed assets, current assets are known as account group in SAP which means that account group is used to categorize the individual GL accounts these are individual GL accounts okay so we are going to show you how to create this account group mm -hmm. now this is the screen which we need to use to create account group the path is financial accounting new general ledger accounting new master data GL accounts preparations define account group we created our chart of account using this right just now so now we are going to go to the next step which is define account group let me click here so we have all the account groups created earlier for different chart of accounts now um, the way account group is created is is created for each chart of account you have to mention what is the name of the account group this is the code, this is the full name of the account group and the account interval. Mm -hmm. I'll explain to you what it is. Let's create now new entries. I clicked on new entries. Our account chart of account is sun. Enter it here. Now what is the first one is fixed assets, right? So let me just put fix assets. Just create a code for yourself. I'm gonna create fix assets the common interval is 100,000 remember we, we mentioned as uh, 6 digits for the GL accounts in the chart of account so that's why I'm entering 6 digits you can enter 7 if you enter 7 the system will throw an error message because you already defined the, the length of the GL accounts in the chart of account as 6 so make sure you enter 6 account interval is in here. this six three six yes this is interval right hundred thousand to hundred ninety nine thousand which means that any GL account which is created in this range also known as range or interval this range will be considered as fixed assets all right mm -hmm. when we create a GL account later on I'll show you a place where you can uh, choose the account group of the GL account so when you choose the account group of the GL account using this code the system will automatically assign a number a running number or you can also manually key in number within this range to create the GL account I'll show you later don't worry too much about it Sun the next one is current assets so just use a code C current assets to 1000 right let me just show you something again okay, about the length of the GL accounts there's any information for you that's PRO financial accounting new over here, over here, and over here, here, chart of accounts, position on sun. Okay, this is our chart of accounts, right? See this length of GL account number is 6. Since you have mentioned it as 6, okay, this is 6, right? So you have to enter only 6 digits. That's what I want to show you. So, okay, let me close this. Okay, let me go to this first session. Okay, let me create a 
long term liability and then current liability okay so this session okay here long term liability long term liability the range will be 10,000 to 39999 okay sun again is for current liability I do current liability 400,000 499 and okay we have created all the four accounts required but bear in mind huh, this guy here this is retained earnings if you know accounts you know that you also need to have uh, income accounts group and expenses account groups all right i'm going to create that now sorry not here mm, here some income income accounts i don't need to put accounts just put income my range will be five nine nine make sure you know accounting eh? so otherwise you can't understand why I'm creating income and expenses anyway the prerequisite for this course is that you should know accounts okay I'm not going to explain in detail because you are expected to know accounts expenses okay six nine 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 oh should I name it as should name it as other incomes yeah let me name it as uh, okay sorry about that I forgot about the sales accounts we need to have sales and uh, let me just change this to sales sales because this is going to have the sales account range and this one will be cost of sales okay Cost of sales. This will be the purchases accounts. Okay. Now comes the income. That's other income. Other incomes account, which will be in this range. We are running out of ranges. Okay, hopefully this is good enough. Other expenses. All right. It should be good enough, ready. We have fixed assets, current assets, long term liability, current liability, sales, cost of sales, other incomes, other expenses. Just save it. All done. Alright. That's the end of this topic. Let's go back.